What's up, guys? This is Patience Packers and Rants. Um, this is gonna be kind of a long video. Uh, I have a lot to say in this video, and um, and in this video, I'm also gonna do a breakdown of the schedule for the Pacers and the eight seeding games, whatever you want to call them. So, first off, um, number one, uh, I want to apologize for my last video. Um. Victor Oladipo, I mean, I didn't really do a rant video, I haven't done a really rant video on this Pacers, in this channel, it's called Pacers, Packers, and Rants. Um, I didn't really do a rant video, and I, that video was just more for entertainment for you guys. Uh, but on a serious note, um, uh, I mean, I don't think we should trade Victor Oladipo, um, he did talk to the media yesterday. And he did get kind of angry at the media saying that he was on a minute restriction and that if he and that he said that if he was one of our loved ones if if he was one of our loved ones that we would want him to do what's best for him. And I agree with that. I mean um Yeah, I mean you want as a fan you want him to play. But you want him to do what's best for him. You know what I'm trying to say? So, if he does play, which I, I forgot to tell you guys, he might play. I don't remember if I told you guys that or not, but I'm going to put it out there right now. He might play. Okay? Uh, but if he does it, I will respect that. Remember, that last video that I posted was entertainment for you guys. I love Victor Oladipo. Uh, I mean, if he has a great year, if he doesn't play, the, the, when the season starts back up, and, uh, he has a great season the next year, I wouldn't mind giving him a little money. 95 million, 100 million. You know what I mean? I mean, big dog here. Um, and he, and you gotta think, when he came back, um, he was on a minute restriction. That doesn't mean he was healthy. Okay, he was put into a minute restriction. He came off the bench for what? Two, three games? Four maybe? And then got put back into the starting lineup? Um, and then Jeremy Lamb gets hurt? I mean... Yeah, okay, uh, bear with me, but I'm gonna get on my PlayStation here. Uh, I'm looking at the Pacers schedule and giving you guys my breakdown, because I don't remember all the games, this is my heart. Here we go. Okay, let me just go to full screen here. And zoom in, and then I'm going to switch the camera. Uh, so, um, uh, I'm doing it like the same thing I did for the Packers, but obviously it's a shorter season. Um, what date is that? I got to screw all over. August 1st, 7 o'clock, August 1st, 7 o'clock p.m. against the Philadelphia 76ers. Um, I mean, it's going to be a toss-up. I could see the Pacers losing this one the first game back. It's a, it's a tough game for our first game back because we're tied in the standings with them. So, 0-1. Uh, number two. That was number one. So, 0-1. Number two, against the Washington Wizards. <laughs> uh, we're going to obliterate the Wizards. I mean, it's the Wizards. They don't have John Wall. They don't got Bradley Beal. Uh, the backcourt. Uh, so, yeah, one and one. Uh. Oh, shit. Hang on. I might have to go to ESPN because Google is not giving me the full schedule. I just now realized that. Um. That was only three games. 
Hurry up, Google. Okay. Uh, number three. Oh, yeah. By the way, that Washington match, what is the matchup is Monday, August 3rd at 4 p.m. Uh, number three, Tuesday, August 4th against the Orlando Magic. Um, at 6 p.m., uh, we struggle with the Magic, but we always beat them. I mean, some guys give us fits, but, I mean, it's not like a team we're going to lose to. So, 2-1. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, August 6th, against the Phoenix Suns at 4 p.m. I mean, if Devin Booker doesn't go off, we're, we'll most likely win this game. Uh, Saturday, August 8th. Versus the Los Angeles Lakers at 6 p.m. Um, and by the way, all these times are Eastern Standard Times. I think. Well, they should be. Anyways, um. The Lakers. We didn't have Victor Oladipo, but last time we played him, we didn't have Vic. But they didn't have Anthony Davis. Uh, I mean... Contain, contain LeBron, contain Anthony Davis. I mean, I don't care how many points the other guy scored. They can score forty-five, all of them, and I don't, and I wouldn't care as long as we win. Uh, but yeah, so I got us that zero and one, one and one, two and one, three and one. Uh. Let's just go 3-2 and two against the Lakers. I mean, uh, um, Okay, and then... Um, August 10th, uh, against the Miami Heat at 8 p.m. Uh, this is a matchup I'm looking forward for TJ Warren versus Jimmy Butler, in case you guys didn't know. TJ, Bu TJ Warren had a... Uh, Got ejected the last game at home when, when, when the Miami Heat came to Indianapolis. And we got blown out by them because Jimmy Butler was a pussy. Um, and he needs to be fired. But, uh, not fired, but uh, he needed to get ejected that game. But, yeah. Uh, but do I think we're going to want to lose? Uh, when... No, lose lose that game definitely. So you got zero and one, one and two, one and one, two and one, three and one, three and two, three and three. Uh, we're gonna Wednesday, August twelfth against the Houston Rockets. That's a loss. I'm sorry, guys, but that's a loss. Uh, we can't contain. We can never, ever, ever contain James Harden. And now they got Russell Westbrook. Forget about it. So that's three and four. And then it gets the Miami Heat again. Uh, I think we'll win this game if TJ Warren learns what he what he didn't do the first game against Miami. Then it just don't happen again on the last game of the season. Then we should come out on top. Um. So four and four, I got our record going. But again, I'm gonna I'm gonna stress this again. Uh, so that's my schedule breakdown of the Pacers' upcoming season. But I do want to stress this again uh, that that video was just entertainment. Uh, I watched it was an 18 minute video. Go check it out on the uh, Indiana Pacers um, YouTube channel. Or just look for or just search Victor Oladipo on YouTube and. Uh, it's like the third video down, and uh, that's the full one. It's on the Indiana Pacers YouTube channel. But uh, what I thought, what Vic said throughout that interview, I thought it was very sincere. Uh, and uh, I just want to apologize. And 
Yeah. Um. Um. So, anyways, uh, I do love Vic, but there are rumors still floating around that he might go to the Heat. Um. So, anyways, um. If you guys have any questions, just feel free to comment down below. Um, and I'm still loading this whole YouTube thing. I might try to ask uh, Tom Paik if um, how to put links down in the description box. But until then, um, this is your boy, Patriots Packers and Rants. Um, again, I'm sorry. But this your boy, eat patience, practice, and rants. See ya.